Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning, April 17th, 2016, just before 6 a.m. It's the third day of our spring turkey season here in Southern Oregon. And I haven't been out yet this year. Opening morning, Friday morning was really nasty. Wind, lots of rain, horrible. And Saturday I had some other stuff to do. But I'm gonna be heading up there. That's BLM land on that uh, mountain up there. I'm gonna do a quick scout this morning with minimal equipment just to see what might be up there. When I was bow hunting up there in November, I ran into turkeys all the time. And one morning I ran into a flock of 50. Like I said, I'm gonna be taking minimal equipment uh, this morning. Try to get a cup of coffee in me. I'm going to be taking my hunting license. Kershaw folding knife. Uh, for a backup gun, just my, my little North American Arms Pug 22 Magnum. It goes with me basically everywhere, including at work as a backup gun. Uh, my HS Strut Old Mama Hen Turkey Call. My HS Strut Gobble Call. And in this little bag, it goes on my belt, I have my uh, Panasonic HD zoom camera, and this is new. I bought this pistol grip from Amazon. don't recall exactly what the brand is, but I'll be doing a review on it sometime in the future. It's really neat. It screws right on, and uh, I'm going to be testing that out. And the gun I'm taking this morning is my Remington 870 Turkey Special, actually. That's what I call it. Uh, it's an 870 12 gauge with an 18 inch barrel, cylinder bore, in other words, <laughs> no choke. Uh, just, you know, kind of like the guns we carry at work in the patrol cars. And I custom Dura coated this a few years back. And I just basically keep it in the house for home defense, but I'll break it out to make a quick foray like this. Yeah, I would have liked to have been out of here just 15 minutes earlier. I would have liked to be up in the mountain right now, or starting up the mountain. I'm really fortunate to live in an area where I can literally walk from my house to the hunting grounds in about, oh, it takes me about 15 minutes to get up there where the BLM land starts. I can hear turkeys gobbling. I can hear them up on the hill. You can probably hear the turkeys up on the hill. Yep. And time to get going. Okay, this is where the BLM land starts right here. And uh, turkeys are up on the hillside. They like to hang around the power lines up there. God, everything's green. The grass is really popped up. I have not been up here since, I don't know beginning of December. This is the hillside I had all the adventures with. Baby buck. With a little black tail spike that I kept running into. But there were some nice deer up here. Ran into a bow hunter one day. The only one I've ever run into in here. And he had a game cam up on the mountain up there. And he had a six point black tail on that game cam. So we were both hunting hard for that boy, but I know I didn't get him, and I don't think he did either. Oh, 
but the plan is I'm only going to uh, take one if he's a really big one, a real trophy. That's the plan this morning. I got some elk tracks here. Fresh too. I just had one answer me. Hear him? And he's down there in the bottom. There he, there he is. One more and we'll go down after him. Okay. All right, so we got one located. All these turkeys that were up here, I don't know where the hell they went. Down the side, up in the top, I don't know. Or maybe they went down, but there's at least one down there. I really should have been up here earlier, 30 minutes earlier. If I'd been right here at uh, quarter till six or six, I'd be right in the thick of them. I got one right across from me, across the draw, and there's one to my left down the hill. That one's on private property. This one across from me is not. Okay. The turkeys that I thought left and went up the mountain they just came down the mountain. Basically where I started up the mountain. So they're all around me right now. I got right across me on BLM land, across that draw. There's at least three. Yep, I'm surrounded by turkeys. They seem to be moving around me. They're not really coming in. They're not really leaving either. Okay, so there's a bunch of them that, there's a vehicle coming up the road and a bunch of them just sounded off over in that field. Hear them? Okay, that young man there was the one driving in and making all the turkeys sound off. And he's a hiker. Thought he was a turkey hunter, but he's not. He kind of blew all the turkeys out of here now. They're all quiet now. They all padded off somewhere. So I think we'll just call it a morning. Well, that was fun and exciting. So this coming weekend, hopefully it'll be cooler and I'll get up there and get serious.